Are you scared that Elon Musk and his Neuralink might put a chip in your brain? Well, fear not, because there are companies that are developing less invasive solutions to treat neurodegenerative diseases. Today we talk about a company hailing from good old Europe that might be in the future a potential competitor for Neuralink, Cortec. Cortec is a medical engineering company that was founded in 2011 by Jörn Rickert, a neurobiologist that assembled in Freiburg in Germany a team of scientists to work on brain-computer interfaces. Today the company has about 60 or more employees and great ambitions, reading and stimulating the human brain. The company is developing in fact several products for treating neurodegenerative diseases, but certainly their most fascinating system is Brain Interchange 1. Brain Interchange 1 is a closed-loop system that allows to both read and stimulate the brain. Closed-loop in the sense that it doesn't require any external interfaces to external devices. It can in fact read brain signals with its 32 channels. Then this data is processed with artificial intelligence algorithms and these algorithms can determine the required brain stimulation patterns. It is intended for long-term measurement of neuronal activity. But let's hear from Cortec itself how it works. An electrode measures signals from the surface of the brain. These signals are digitized and sent wirelessly through the skin to a computing unit outside the body. It processes the signals together with additional patient information. Artificial intelligence interprets these data within milliseconds. The result is a personalized stimulation pattern precisely matching the patient's current therapeutic need. The stimulation pattern is transmitted back to the patient. A stimulation pulse is delivered to an electrode located where therapeutic stimulation needs to be applied. The intelligent system works continuously to deliver personalized therapy right when it's needed. So let's break down this technical solution. We can identify three main parts. The first one is so-called multi-part implant. This is what goes inside the head, but we will see why it's less invasive than Neuralink solution. It is composed by flexible electrodes and an electronics unit. First of all, electrodes. Electrodes can read and stimulate the brain. They can detect signals, electrical signals generated by the brain, but they can also stimulate the neural tissue with targeted pulses. These electrodes are basically a multi-layer structure that is around one millimeter in thickness when assembled and they are laid on the brain surface. The electrodes per se are made in platinum iridium, they are wrapped in silicon or metal layers according to how soft or how hard we want them. So the softness allows these electrodes to adjust to the brain curvature and in addition Cortec can manufacture these electrodes in various shapes according to patients' needs. But here is the big difference compared with Neuralink solution and the difference is that these electrodes are not implanted within the neural tissue. Remember, Neuralink solution is about implanting with a surgical robot these electrodes, but Cortex solution is about laying on the surface of the brain, on the surface of the cortex, these electrodes. So there is no surgical needs, there is no scarring, which is better for long-term treatments. Then. Continuing with the multi-part implants, we have the internal electronics unit. This is the unit that is wired to the electrodes. It is placed underneath the scalp, partly embedded in the skull, somewhat similar to how Neuralink chip link is embedded in the skull. It is protected by a hermetic encapsulation against bodily fluids, of course, and it includes electronics and firmware to amplify, filter and digitalize neural signals. It is powered wirelessly by induction, so there is no need for batteries, and it communicates via radio frequency link to the external unit that is the second part of a brain interchange one. The external unit is what you see on the head here. It is held attached to the skin by a magnet opposite to the implant. It is mainly on biocompatible material and it communicates, as I said previously, with the internal electronics unit and it supplies power to it via induction. Connected to this external unit, there is a cable length around maximum 50 cm connected to the communication unit, which is this electronics box worn on the body, which manages and processes all the data. 
Remember, with the artificial intelligence algorithms, this data is processed and it generates back the signals, the pulses that are required to stimulate the brain. But this data can also be sent to application software, to an external device that allows the user to visualize the data. So to recap this solution, as I stressed, it is less invasive than Neuralink solution, but it still requires a certain amount of surgery, of course, to implant the electrodes. But at least these electrodes, they don't need to be implanted physically in the brain. Still, there are some biocompatibility issues to be tackled, which is why this device has a certain lifetime of around two years. After two years, it requires to be replaced. So a less invasive solution seems pretty promising, pretty interesting, right? Unfortunately, the system is still in development, is still currently being tested by Cortec, and in five years they hope to have therapies on human patients. So what would be the benefits of this system, the potential applications? As I said, Cortec has a great vision. Their system can read and stimulate the brain according to the patient needs, which is important when delivering therapies. Cortec is envisioning this system to be used, for example, to connect the brain to prosthetics, to external devices, for example, to help paraplegics move, which is something that I talk many times in my videos. In this case, the device would read the motor commands that are generated by the motor cortex, take them with the electrodes and send them to the external device. But Cortec is also envisioning to treat conditions like Parkinson's disease or epilepsy by using targeted impulses with the electrodes for example, to reduce tremors that are typical of Parkinson's disease. Lastly, this solution could enable therapies to treat conditions, very serious conditions like Alzheimer's disease, depression or PTSD. And all of this would be without the scary surgical implantation that would happen with Neuralink solution. So good luck to Cortec on their endeavor, and I have to say, I'm pretty happy to see all these technical solutions being implemented. As I go deeper and deeper into the fascinating world of brain-computer interfaces, I realize that there are many companies trying to tackle this problem, this problem of reading and stimulating the brain from different perspectives. We've seen Neuralink, we've seen Open Water, we've seen Kernel. I also send you the link to Kernel video. I made a video about them if you are interested. And now we're seeing also Cortec. So it's nice to see this field getting bigger and more developed. And this is something that also Neuralink scientists hoped for as you can hear from their own words. Well, I was, I was also say like we're under no illusion that we think we can do all of the science required for this ourselves. Like there's an immense amount of neuroscience to be done with these devices and there's a huge amount that we have to learn about the brain and, and that's gonna be a much larger thing than just Neuralink. And we wanna get um, these tools into the hands, eventually at the right time, I think that we're, we're still a very small company just focused on getting our first patients and we have to be laser focused on that. But we want this to be a thing that is much larger, like we want this to be a field, right? We want this to really fuel advancement of the field. Because the most important thing is not that like Neuralink is this like one specific place, but that it advances all of us. So let's hope for a bright future of brain computer interfaces to treat these unfortunate conditions like neurodegenerative diseases. Let me know your opinion in the comments. Let me know about Cortex solution compared to other solutions. What do you think about this? If you like this video, if you want to see more videos about these topics, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.